thousand dollar day products for your Shopify store. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brendan back at you with another video. So today we're going to be going over a thousand dollar day product tool for your Shopify dropshipping stores. Okay. How do you find those trendy products to get all those sales on your store? That's what we're going into today, going in depth on uh, the different products that you can find with this tool and exactly how to use it for your advantage. So if you guys haven't already hit the like button on this video, be sure to do so as well as hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So in a second here, I'm gonna hop into the computer and show you exactly what it is. All right, guys, so we are now in the computer. Now the tool is pexta.com. This is probably no surprise to many of you guys who are long-term subscribers on the channel. This is one of the best product finder tools that you can use for free for your Shopify dropshipping store in order to find and hunt the winning products to sell online. Okay, that's what they say. That's what they stand by, right? Now, the thing is, is so many people ask me about this. This is a very common concern I get with this product research tool with Pexta because you can find all these awesome trendy products, which we're going to dive into a little bit. Uh, but just going over some of the common concerns that people think about with this tool is like, wouldn't every Everyone be selling the same thing. This is the common thing that comes up. A lot of people ask about different research tools, whether it's Pexta itself or other research tools I go over on the channel. Um, but this one's just probably the most popular one because it has the most you pretty much have access to the most products for free and they update it uh, more frequently than other ones. So looking at it here, wouldn't everyone be selling the same thing, right? I get this question a lot. And the thing is, is even if they are, it's to different audiences. So I have lots of different people on my channel, lots of different types of subscribers selling on different type of audiences. So lots of different people, lots of different types of stores uh, in the mix there. Some people are going to be selling through Facebook ads, okay? And there's millions of different combinations there with different uh, combinations that you can mix and match with Facebook audiences, okay? You could go for engaged shoppers. You could go for um, just a ton of different things. I mean, if you're selling like some sort of beauty product, right? I mean, you could target people that are in, maybe into acne or maybe into certain things. Like it depends on the product, right? And there's so many different ways that you could hit people at it um, with different products. If you maybe you're selling a camping light, you could sell it to people that are into outdoorsy stuff, maybe into hiking and they also be into camping. So there's so many different ways that you could target products with Facebook ads. And that's just one advertising strategy. There's a lot of other ones too. There's also Google AdWords. I know one subscriber is having good success with one of the products I showed on Pexta like the other day, okay, with Google AdWords, all right? That's another way to that you can uh, run ads and get traffic to your site. Instagram, okay, this is one that I've done a lot in the past, different things with hashtags or maybe even targeting influencers, paying for Instagram influencer shoutouts. The only thing with influencers that you do have to worry about a little bit is on um, the scalability factor. That's why I would prefer something like Google AdWords or Facebook ads to really scale in the long run. But you know, it's also there as well as, as YouTube influencers. So YouTube influencers, cool thing is with that is uh, a lot of different people run with that because a lot of these videos can get views over time and they're still out there promoting the product. So this is a really, really great method that is kind of under uh, uh, underestimated and not really tapped into too much because it takes a bit more work, but man, you can make a lot more money with YouTube influencers if you have the right things set up. Maybe you become a YouTube influencer yourself and talk about beauty products and then you sell beauty stuff. I'm actually working with someone right now personally to set that set themselves up for that in the next year, but that's definitely a long-term thing. Probably we'll do a case study on the channel. I've talked about this a few different times, but definitely interested in doing that in the future. Uh, but YouTube influencers, another opportunity there. So all these different trending products, these type of products that are hot within this space, okay? People will talk about them, right? They're always getting talked about, okay? And the thing is, is finding the products that are trending, okay? That's what you could do on here. They're constantly being updated and at the same time, Trends slowly change, okay? Some go and then come back, all right? It's based on seasons, all right? Think about swimsuits, right? Every single year, as soon as it starts to get hot out, more and more people are gonna be interested in getting a swimsuit. So that's one product right there that kind of has trends up and down over time, and it goes in swings, right? So you have some periods of the year where, yeah, you could probably sw sell a lot of bathing suits. Other periods of the year, probably be really hard to sell a bathing suit when it's like, you know, 20 degrees outside in December. Okay, so just think about it that way, uh, what people are interested in, all that kind of stuff, as well as, you know, the seasons, the trends, and all these kind of trends. It, th this is only one research tool, okay? That's what we're going through today with Pexta. I mean, you could see the Sleep Aid has a lot of orders. You could see this vacuum cleanser. Not so many orders, but it is still in the list. And some of the things, some of the one thing to understand here is that this information is only coming from one store, okay? So this perfect egg poacher info right here, 
right? So we click on that, okay? And I've seen this on a few different stores. This is a kitchen product, which I talk about as this is one of the good niches in my video I uploaded yesterday. But the thing is, is here with this product, right? They're only showing the profit and the product cost from one supplier, one store, and one ad. If it's if it's through a Facebook ad, then yeah. Um, they're only showing one store. So it may seem like it doesn't have a lot of orders, but that might just be that one store doesn't have a really great ad set going or a really great marketing strategy with that product, whereas another store might be pulling in a thousand orders, okay? So like, don't judge a product necessarily only by orders because they're only pulling this info from one store. So like that one store, a lot of people could be selling the same product and other stores might be doing better than the one that they pulled the data from. So obviously this one they pulled the data from is doing really, really good. Uh, 15,000 orders. I've seen this product many, many different times. It's a very popular product because people want to have their phone in their car and they want it to be able to sit there so they can look at their GPS, okay? Very important product. It's a gadget product, once again, a uh, very um, cheap, easy to uh, sell gadget product. I mean, you look at the product cost, only $2.55. They're selling it for like 17 bucks. So pretty nice profit margin there. I mean, you could probably even sell it for like 20 bucks, something like that. I mean, it's a it's a need that people have, okay? If they haven't seen this product before and you're advertising it in a unique way with a video ad, all that kind of stuff, that's gonna do you really, really solid. So that's another product right there. I mean, just scrolling through here, you're going to see a ton of different products that you could potentially add to your store, whether it's a general store or, or more of a niche down uh, type of store as well. Um, lots and lots of products here. Okay, look at this one. I mean, I, I've gone over this product a couple times on the channel. Um, some products you have to you have to test with. Okay, not everything's gonna work. It'd be honestly, I think it's kind of hard to sell this lipstick just because it's such a blatant rip of Kylie Jenner's. Uh, lip kit and stuff like that. So it might be harder to target who exactly would be interested in this general uh, matte liquid lipstick. But at the same time, if you're familiar with the beauty niche, it might be really easy to sell this um, if you kind of already know what people are into. So maybe s sell stuff that you already have an idea of what could do well, how to target it. You know, that could only help you and benefit you if you already know the type of people that would generally be interested in a certain type of product, right? This is like kitchen related stuff. That was the beauty stuff. Um, you know, even these different acne products is sleep aid. I mean, the pages go on and on and on, but definitely stick to like the more recent stuff because if you do go back a few pages um, to like the old, old stuff, like if we go way back here to like 20 pages, as you can see, some of this stuff was probably hot during Christmas time or, or this is six months ago. So this is more like uh, November or October even. So like some of this stuff is not exactly hot anymore, it's things people aren't really as interested in. But the thing is, is like some of this stuff lasts. Like you can see this waterproof dog green coat six months ago and it's still getting orders or it's still relatively hot, okay? Some of this stuff kind of goes away. This Muscle Max, I've seen a lot of different other YouTube channels talk about this product specifically right here. And, but it seems like it's not as hot anymore, not selling as much. So you want to stick to the stuff that's more trendy now, but don't exactly completely eliminate stuff because if it, it could resurface, okay? Go on Google Trends, search through there. It might get some resurfacing, some older trends that kind of come back. Like I said, with the swimsuits, they go up and down every single year. So you have to be on the lookout for that when you're using Pexta, when you're trying to find the trendy products because they do change over time. If you guys wanna learn more about how to build a profitable Shopify business, I have a link to my course down in the description box below, as well as a Shopify 14 day free trial to get yourself started. Feel free to check out the videos beside me, subscribe to the channel, free Facebook mastermind group, follow me on Instagram, everything is linked down in the description box below. But anyway guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.